Hey, Pat Rigsby here, and in this episode, I want to talk with you about one thing that you should stop doing and another thing that you should start doing. I'll elaborate on the details of this and how it's going to help you in this episode. Welcome to the Fitness Business School with Pat Rigsby, the podcast for fitness entrepreneurs who want to make more income, have greater impact, and enjoy more freedom in their ideal business. If you'd like an accelerated route to these goals, email me at pat at patrigsby.com and put BGA in the subject line and I'll get you all the details about our Business Growth Accelerator program. So in this episode, I want to give you an, an idea, a concept that I think that if you embrace it, it's going to help you a lot. See, a lot of times when we get stuck, when things are slow, when, when the circumstances aren't optimal, maybe when we're overwhelmed or when we're confused, we, we fall in this trap of seeking out some sort of perfect solution. We start looking for the magic promotion or some incredibly perfect or ideal marketing message. We, we want the, the, the best tactic we can possibly find and, you know, or, or the, the most optimal strategy. All, all these things that allow us to kind of dive into what I call research mode, which is probably the most common form of procrastination for business owners that I've ever seen. And the reality is, you know, it, it kind of is procrastination in disguise because it makes us feel productive, like we're doing something, like we're, we're learning or reading or something that's going to help us. And it makes us feel a little bit more optimistic. It makes us feel a little bit more productive, but it's just procrastination in disguise. And so we, we get this sense of, well, when we find this perfect solution, when we find the perfect tagline, when we find the perfect marketing message, when we find the, the perfect ad copy or, or the, the, the right image, then everything's going to be terrific. Everything's going to be awesome and the stars are going to align and all of our problems are going to magically disappear. Unfortunately, things just don't work like that at all. It's just not the way that things actually happen. And it's almost like this, this kind of business trick that, that traps people into this cycle of continual research, buying courses, buying products, thinking that the next one's going to be better. You know, the reality is if we stop seeking and actually start serving the people that we can reach, we're going to get some momentum. We're going to we're going to learn more because when we're serving our current clients better, when we when we really lean into that, we're going to learn more about them. We're going to get them better results. And so they're going to be marketing ambassadors for us. Our retention is going to be better. When we figure out other things that we can offer our current clients to better serve them, ancillary services, complimentary products, then these are things that can potentially drive that average monthly client value up. And we can earn more from the people we're already helping and they're going to be happy about it. When we think about serving the people that are already real prospects for us, right? Like people that have shown an interest in what we potentially could help them with, when, with, with people that are kind of in that decision-making process. When we really focus on serving them, helping them, coaching them until they actually pay us to coach them, then, you know, they're going to be more likely to choose us because the value that we can bring to their life, the problems that we can solve, the goals we can help them reach, the role we can play is going to be really, really visible and evident to them. And then those, those people who are maybe further down the line, further away from us that, that are leads that have shown a little bit of an interest, maybe they opted in for a lead magnet, maybe they started watching a video, maybe they joined your free Facebook group or they opted into your newsletter, well, if, if we start answering the questions they actually have, instead of just talking about the things we want to talk about, if we can show them that, yeah, I'm here to help, 
I'm here to make your life better today. You don't have to wait. You don't have to pay me some sort of high ticket fee before I'm going to make your life better, before I'm going to help start solving the problems that you currently face and give them some hope. Well, now this, this concept of serving that person is going to make you much more appealing in their eyes and it's going to move them down that continuum from from lead to client and if we think about giving more if we think about serving more if we think about this concept that i've talked about for a long time being the mayor of fitness in your respective community where you're just helping until somebody's ready to pay you for help then you're going to be so much better off. But then, you know, what you also begin to understand is that the more you're committed to serving, the more you learn about serving at a higher level. The more you can really dial in on how to best serve the people that you're encountering, how to best serve the clients that you have, how to best serve the clients that you want to have. And so it's this snowball effect where you're just going to get better and better at what you do. And because you're proactively serving the, the people out there outside your four walls or outside your current program, that becomes the marketing that you actually need to employ instead of trying to find some magic solution, some perfect ad, anything like that. And... You're going to see so much more in the way of results, so much more in the way of goodwill. You're going to see the number of reviews that you have online pop up, the number of referrals that you bring in grow. Now, I don't want to act like, you know, this isn't um, something that I've ever struggled with because, I, I mean, I've dealt with it the same, the same as most of us, right? I've dealt with the same hey, I'm going to find a, a better way to market. I'm going to find a better way of you know, selling my programs or delivering my service. And, and you know, I'm, I'm not saying that studying is a bad thing, but being in the, the consumption phase of a business owner all the time and not enough in the production phase is not a recipe for success. In fact, it's just this trap of, you know, of kind of procrastination and false hope. But whenever I've kind of shifted my focus and said, okay, how can I better serve the, the, the clients I have, the, the people on my email list, the listeners to this podcast, then the results always follow, right? So if you're stuck, if things aren't going the way that you would like them to go, really kind of shift your focus. Stop seeking this magic bullet, this perfect solution, this ideal program, all, this thing that's going to magically solve your problems and just say, you know what? I'm in the business of serving, so I'm going to be a better servant. I'm going to serve more people. I'm going to serve those people more effectively. If you make this shift, you're going to see your results skyrocket. You're going to see people really kind of take notice of you. When you're out in the public, when you're, it doesn't matter if you're at the grocery store, it doesn't matter if you're at a, a child sporting event or any other place, somebody's going to notice you and they're going to recognize what you're doing because you've decided to go out there and just help before anybody had to jump through any hoops and have any sort of prerequisite commitment to you before you were willing to help them. So just a simple concept that I think a lot of people would avoid telling you because, you know, it, it's not, you know, it's not going to make anybody any money to say, hey, just go help people, right? They, they want to sell you their signature program. They want to sell you their high ticket coaching. Well, the reality is if you want some growth, go out there and earn it by helping people. You do that and you're going to be on the right path. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Fitness Business School. And before you go, I have a quick announcement. When I first connect with a fitness business owner, they almost always ask me, 
how can I get more leads or how can I get more clients? Well, I have an exclusive offer for you and it's gonna help you do just that. As a listener of this show, you can test drive Fitness Lead Academy for six full weeks for just a dollar. Fitness Lead Academy is a one of a kind program where you get done for you marketing tools and coaching to attract more qualified prospects and to convert them into paying clients. Imagine having three marketing emails written for you each and every week, four easy to deploy promotions provided to you that are proven to convert and they're ready to use, and proven ads and social media posts given to you each and every month as well. Plus, you have access to three weekly live video coaching sessions to help you with everything from dialing in your brand to navigating things like building funnels and getting ads approved. You get all of this and more when you join Fitness Lead Academy. And to prove that FLA can serve you as your virtual marketing department and not only save you plenty of time, but also consistently bring you more leads and clients, you can get access to the entire coaching program for six full weeks, again, for just $1. If it delivers for you in the way that I expect it will, you can continue on for just $199 a month. So basically, just one additional client each month and your ROI positive. And I'm sure that if you apply what we give you, you're gonna get more than just one additional client each month and you're gonna likely save at least 10 hours a month of work too. To take advantage of this special offer, just go to testdrivefla.com. Try it out for six full weeks. If it's not what you're looking for, you can cancel at any time. Just go to testdrivefla.com to get started.